Hi folks, welcome to our channel. Today is the long awaited Full House Tour Part 1. And we've done it in parts because it takes a long time to get this house ready and tidy. Enjoy! <laughs> Right, we're gonna head up to the top floor. We'll start up there, work our way down. We'll try and throw some floor plans in here and you can follow along. Actually, before we start, this is a good place to look at what the house was like when it was built. The, it was built slightly different to this, but this is the original planning that got passed. So the top floor is this one here. We really haven't changed anything on this floor apart from a few little bit on wardrobe bits and the stud wall that we've moved around. And then the ground floor, there's quite a bit that's changed around there over the years. Uh, we finished all of our stair restoration uh, there's another little bit to finish right at the top but it's almost done so through to what is now our guest room it's been an office a storeroom all sorts um, but as you can see it's a really big space up here many years ago we ripped down the whole inside uh, ceiling of these rooms these were original rooms of the house but of course uninsulated and just uh, kind of crumbling lime plaster. All of that came down, we fully insulated the roof, um, it's got 150mm PIR up here, all new cabling, wiring, everything up here. These are the insulated hatches I made and there's a rubber seal there, so it seals nice, it just needs a little bit of trim and hardware there. Uh, the heating up here is just never used to be honest, it really doesn't get cold even in the middle of winter, but if we've got guests staying uh, these are the electric radiators, pretty efficient for what we need. Toilet and basins fit in here, that will be next week's project. It was meant to be this week's project but it just didn't happen, uh, so we'll hit that at some point. Uh, and then finally, up on the top floor here, is my office. And you can't judge me, it's a bit of a mess up here at the moment and probably the most cluttered room in the house, but this is where all the magic happens as far as getting all the editing done and also my photography work. We've done over on this side of the house which is a little bit different from over there where we've got the two eaves storage. Over here one of the eaves I've actually insulated and made part of the room so we've got storage there which one day will be behind doors and if this was going to be used as like a master suite up here or two bedrooms that is perfect for you know pull out storage or a wardrobe or whatever it's a nice usable space. And then over this side, I've done the same, but left it open, exposed the purlin and this big truss here and made that like a little snug area. Normally it's got cushions and bean bags. Now it's not so snug like. Now it wasn't a true loft conversion because we already had stairs here, but really apart from that, we were back to the rafters and, uh, and the, the equivalent of still had to be all signed off and wired and insulated. And of course, now we've got the bathroom going up there as well lots of you know integrating with building regs but a really good way of adding space to the house so that's upstairs and i promise you it will get tidier as we go down i hope right so the first bedroom we'll show you is the double room at the front of the house which currently is a nursery a really glamorous over the top nursery hey eh? Look, she has the have, biggest so room, she's the smallest person in the house. This has got... been a double room, spare room. It's also been the girls' room when we had two singles coming out here and here. And now it's, it used to also be my studio and office and Rose's room. So she's only just got her own room um, after having to share with us or with me in my office or whatever. So, yeah. So it's designed to have a double bed there, that's why the switches and lights are over there. Um, what have we done? In here we've put kind of curving up, yeah. full plastering. We found this fireplace, which was... Redone, uh, hidden. revamped the floor? No. Yeah, restored the floor. Restored the floor. So this was under some hideous carpet. Really early on in the channel we stripped it back three floors, didn't we? Yeah, I love this bit. We painted this white. I know, it's so, so easy, so quick to do but it just transformed it from, and gave a different look. And so this just shaped in and plastered it, yeah. uh, just brushed with a wet brush to kind of get the soft edges. That was a white chalk paint, clay paint, sorry. And then- Same one we used on the 
few bookshelves. Yeah. And then this three-sided bay window, that's actually going to be a future video or two. We're working with a shuttering or shutter company. We're going to put hardwood shutters in on the front of the house. So that's really, I think that'll transform this room because it'll just kind of diffuse the light coming in easier than curtains. Yeah. Um, and just a bit more stylish as well, rather than lace curtains like that. <laughs> right, on to the next bedroom. Smallest room in the house, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Probably. But it's still not that small. We've had a double bed in here for years. This used to be pink, so if you're looking back at the videos. <laughs> it used to be yeah. very floral. Yes, but it, everything was pink, wasn't it? It used to be. No, it was orange. The wallpaper. Oh, yeah, but then it turned pink and now it's yeah. uh, a light blue. But it was Eden's room and then she wanted to come back in here once the girls decided they wanted to separate rooms again. But in between that, it was a spare room and my office. Well, I say office, it had a little desk. It's actually probably the tidiest room of the whole house. As far as it was the most recently decorated just a couple of months ago, this is the room we sprayed um, and it's completely finished. New carpet. So we did new carpets throughout the house um, on this floor, so it all kind of ties in. And the doors are all almost finished. And again, front window, we've got nice grey hardwood shutters to install there. Oh, this is my teddy bear from when I was little. Creamy tear. Just the little things. And then we're back out on the landing. I'll do a bit of a landing tour once we've cleared some junk off it. This is our bit of a history wall over the years, all the different this is kind of how things started when it was built. Um, and all the original plans. This is the, the day we moved in. So it's all good stuff. All right, head to the back of the house. And this is the back bedroom with all of its uh, Space glory. Space glory. <laughs> but anyway, best view of the house, it has, Yeah. Well, the same best as view ours. of the garden. Yeah, yeah. We had a double bed there, didn't we? Yeah. So and when a we cot moved, there for we basically moved from room to room as we worked through the house. Well, we kind of wanted to keep ourselves on this side and then focus on. Yeah, the we main drew a, a line down the middle of the house. But, um, this all used to be built in wardrobes all the way to the door. Then we stole a little bit to make the bathroom bigger, opened up this section. They're the original, the original airing cupboard. You need to sort those doors out in the corner, but it's made a bit wider in here. So much difference having these doors finished. Just finishes the rooms really nicely, doesn't it? They were like yellow gloss before. Yeah, or they were scratched or half sanded and yeah. horrible handles. So yeah, I've really appreciated I think the door's done. Doors are done, it's just a little bit of the architrave, old kind of hinge mortars and bits to fill and uh, and snag, but on the whole, they come out really nice. Mungos, fail. I think the kids were hanging off it, to be fair. Come on then, show, let's show everyone the messiest room, or normally the messiest room. <gasps> so this is our room. It's about the same size as the front double. What is the luxury nursery? <laughs> um, but we chose to have the back of the house, plus we built an ensuite. So. so if I come back a little bit, need the wider lens, you can see this angle that we've cut across here with a stud wall. So the, the original bedroom came to about here and we've carved off a little shower room ensuite in here. So we've got shower one side, sink and then space for a toilet, but we kind of use it as more storage really. Yeah, we've plumbed it up, but it would have to be a sign of flow and go up into the top soil pipe. Yeah. It's doable. Uh, we just haven't got around to it yet. This floor we did at the same time. So when we did the three floors, yeah, all these, uh, the wider gaps we filled. You see those slivers, of tapered pine in there. Of love. I remember doing this floor on New Year's Eve once. Do you remember it at midnight? Yeah, we stayed up and watched the fireworks Woo! while sanding floors. We're so cool. And then the storage up above the ensuite as well, just because it's high ceiling, so you can gain a bit there. Over to the famous bathroom, or the labour ward. Crazy. So this 
Well, let's start over here because this is where we knocked through and just pinched a bit of space from the other room. And it's really handy actually because we've got a built-in laundry which the kids will put their stuff in and there's all these shelves. It's, it's quite a small bathroom for the size of the house, isn't it? We've yeah. always said that, so that makes so much um, so much difference having places to store towels and linens and stuff. And we've obviously got storage under there too. And we love this towel radiator even though it's an absolute Col Column radiator, yeah, yeah. Clean. What did I call it? Towel radiator. We've got a big, tall six-foot towel radiator in here. I mean, it's overheated this room, but no one likes a cold room chilly after room a after a shower in the winter. Right. And this and wall? This wall is our favourite, isn't it? We do that again. I love it. All of this was done with the, what's it called? Earthborn. Topo. So nice and breathable, nice and white bright and a bit of a feature and then of course the original lintel is up there as well and the timber lintel and the stones on the outside and another one of our lovely new doors well restored doors new old <laughs> new to us they feel yeah. new our first attempt at tiling all those years ago yeah i mean we could be much more adventurous with bathrooms in the future rather than just going with the standard metro but it's safe and it's simple bright and light and quick so there you have it that is the top floor the middle floor and all the bedrooms and bathrooms next we'll be heading downstairs as you might be able to tell in the background a little sneak peek of our shutters but that's it for now hope you enjoyed that and remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time